And we're live at Expert 35. I'm your host, Gabriel, and as promised, experts from 35 different industries talking about the challenges, the opportunities, and the hardship. But today we're gonna to talk about opportunities. We're gonna to to talk about coloring your life, painting your home inside and out. And I've got Leo, the expert in painting. Leo, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, you're welcome, sir. Thank you to invite me to the wonderful channel, man, to this blog. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Awesome, I'm glad you're here. And we also have an expert in color psychology, a branding expert, Christina OG. Uh, she's been on Expert 35 before. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, I'm glad to be back. So yeah, let's get back, let's get into it. But before I'm gonna throw out, of course, you can always text expert35 to follow us, follow whenever we get notified when we have new episodes. And we've got Leo. Oh, he just jumped off. Um, I think he might have gonna take it off. Here, I'll put him in this video. We got a backup for Leo. And he, you can text expert23 to have Leo. And Christina is an original OG, your expert. Oh, three. <laughs> so text expert oh, three to talk to Christina. Uh, let's jump right into it because I think this is such an interesting place where we're at. Like we've got the psychology of colors. We're all at home. You know, one of the easiest things we can do is paint our home. And on the inside, the outside, it not only protects, but makes it like a cleaner environment. Uh, so Leo, start us off real quick with a couple of reasons why painting is so important. Well, basically, uh, painting is important, man, because uh, you you have a, a better uh, mood d during your uh, this, well, during your time in in your office in your house. Uh, and I don't know, people paint when you have uh, nice colors. Uh, in the house. Uh, lately, uh, a lot of people is working from home. Uh, people working, uh, they have their children at home as well. And I notice, uh, I get in a, a lot of calls from people asking me, Elio, can you give me a recommendation of what we can do to have my children happy, calm? And basically, uh, in the color in the world helps a lot. And Christina, obviously, expert in color. All right, we we want to color our home because it's going to make us feel different. Tell us a little bit about how color can impact us. So um, I love this topic, obviously, because I do this. But um, there is a psychology behind color, as you mentioned, and um, what this is is we respond to it with an emotion. There's an energetic frequency that goes across when you see a color and you get an emotion from it. So different people can get different emotions. But mm -hmm. the really exciting thing about painting your home is there you have a whole palette of colors that you can work with. A lot of people just use builders colors that you know, they moved into home and it was a certain color. But this is an exciting time. We have an opportunity to update our homes and our office spaces or merge our offices into our homes. And so it's important to have your personality come through with that. So tell us a little bit about the different color ideas. There's energetic colors and like, what would you put if, in the kitchen or what would you put in the bedroom? <laughs> okay. Well, this is gonna depend on the individual a lot, but mm -hmm. um, the color psychology, what, what that does when you understand that is that different rooms have a mood. So like our bedroom is going to be a very different mood than like the dining room or the family room. Family room is a place where people are coming together and you want them to interact with one another. So if you did very dark, a uh, very dark room, we'll just use a drastic example like black, you're not going to encourage conversation and um, just talking amongst each other. So you want to pick a color that maybe isn't neutral, neutral meaning a white or off-white or beige. You want to pick something that has a little more life in it or a higher energetic. So that may be like a lighter color of green or blue or for some people yellow. And again, each um, color has its own meanings and words that are tied to it. So, um, I, I can provide some links for looking at what a color, what emotion is evoked from the color. But basically you wanna pick something that fits with you, that your personality, cause you're living in this home, 
but you also want to pick something that's going to encourage the environment that you're looking for in that particular room. And Christina is going to put some notes in the chat so people can actually like see what different colors mean and what it should do. Leo's going to deep dive into it. Should we use eggshell? Should we use matte? Yeah, because all these everybody has questions, right? One of the things that I think we're seeing is people paint to sell the house. Well, now we're going to paint to live the house because we're there 24 seven. It's a way to like re-energize the, the space, make it feel new, make it feel dynamic. And uh, Christina, so good having you. Thank you for like that little input on on color. We'd love to have you back and just talk more about what you do. Cause I mean, obviously color psychology is a big part of your branding and web development side of the business. So I thought it'd be fun to have you kind of chip in before we, uh, we started painting the walls. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you for having me. And um, I look forward to seeing the rest of the interview with Leah. All right, guys. That was Christina. Thank you for being with us. We'll see you guys soon. All right, guys. Leo, painting. It's going to be such an important part of the whole, you know, getting it, getting feeling good about it, right? So before everybody's asked, everybody says, should we do it ourselves or should we hire an expert? What do you? What are your thoughts on that? Well, Gabe, it all depends on if you are kind of handyman and you like to do the job, you can do it yourself. Uh, however, do you know, it, this is a, a hard job sometimes and people don't have the time. If you don't have the time, leave it to the expert. However, it's a lot of resources in the internet, in YouTube, where you can find videos mm -hmm. of how, how paint, how to do it. And basically, uh, it's some techniques of paint. And um, but yeah, you can find it every time, and all depends on the situation. But both ways is fine. But you have to enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, get somebody to do it. Yeah, and one of the hardest things is like the whole prepping, right? So I have paint versus primer and paint, right? So that's one of the questions people ask: is you know, should you prime? When should you prime? Oh, you can't hear me. Can you hear me? Well, yeah. basically. Yeah, I, I can hear you. Uh, basically, you prime when the wall doesn't have prime. Or you have a dark color is when you have to apply prime. But if you don't have a dark color, uh, actually dark color, you don't have to prime. Uh, plus, a lot of paints, they have already primer. So basically, the new technology of paint, the new paints, they, they have already primer. You apply two coats, and that should be enough. Great, great. I mean, we actually, man, we're, we're, you have all kinds of questions already. Normally, you don't jump into questions this early, but this is a great question by Jennifer Johnson. How often should you paint an exterior, uh, the exterior of your home? Every 10 years. Basically, you have to think about, about this. When you are going to paint the exterior of your house, basically, number one is for maintenance. Maintenance to protect the wood, to protect the, the, the shiro, to, I mean, to protect uh, the siding mm -hmm. uh, for protection. And then in the other side to make it look good, if, if you are paying association, make sure to change the, the rules because some homeowners association they are strict and you can use any color. So uh, with them before paint. Great point, right? It's not just about it's not about looking good. It's also about protecting. And so a great time to paint sometimes might actually be right before hurricane season because then you're going to get a lot of water. You're going to get a lot of moisture and, uh, and that'll protect. Uh, I'm getting questions and I should say, by the way, I'm in Taos, New Mexico. So I'm from the road behind me. You see my vibe. I'm in a motorhome. So we're taking expert 35 on the road. Uh, I didn't ask, I, I didn't have time to ask that, answer that question last time, but I'm sure people have been asking. <laughs> Leo, let's get into the, some of the, you know, the concepts of why you should paint. I love the exterior, like to protect, but it's also protecting inside. It's also cleaning, right? What are some of the benefits of uh, of having the of painting? Well, uh, you know, in, in Houston, and I think uh, we have foundations. You know, the houses move and. And you have to do repairs. You're gonna find cracks on the ceiling, on the walls, and and those those uh, uh, stuff has to be repaired. Why? Because you have to keep the value of your home. You know what I mean? You have to keep the value of your home. You have to make sure that that, that your house uh, 
uh, is well maintained. It's why? Because again, one day it's probably that you're gonna sell the house. You don't want to do everything one time. You know, you want to spend the money, uh, you know, on a step. So try to keep the house and 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 uh, well maintained it all the time. Mm -hmm. And I I can see the points here. So basically, uh, when you paint inside. Uh, you are, are, are keeping uh, the value of the homes and, and sometimes in a lot of houses, man, uh, I don't know if you notice, uh, you can see more on the bathrooms. Basically because uh, sometimes some, some so, so you start seeing more. So uh, you uh, uh, place a right paint, you know what I mean? It's a special place for bathrooms that, that we can apply. And and, and that's one of the reasons that we have to keep that, that house. Uh, in. Uh, yeah, and I think this is such a great time to paint, right? Because we're all home. Uh, we're concerned about cleanliness. And something, when you're home a lot, you start kind of, things start getting cluttered up and just cleaning that out so you can paint will actually keep your home cleaner because now you have new colors you have new energy in you know i think it's a great way to it's going to clean the environment better like i said it's it stops uh, dirt from staying on the walls and plus you have to kind of prep everything and clean and somebody like you guys you guys are professionals you guys will do all that prep work right would you guys move furniture as well or do do, do you guys not do that well uh, basically We, uh, for uh, everything from walls, when everything is hanging on the walls, uh, we can help to move furniture. Uh, but yes, yes, we, we offer that service. Um, and uh, part of, of the, of, of when, like, about your question, part of doing that is because uh, we have to, to, to protect the floor. So uh, sometimes a lot of houses in Houston, they have wood floors. So we have to protect the floor. We have to uh, place paper on the floor and, and we have to, to clean the walls before we, if, before we apply paint, we have to clean. So it's part of the process. Here's a, here's a, a really interesting piece in terms of paint, right? Uh, what do you recommend? Like, is there like a premium paint that you recommend or w w what should we look for? Because when, when we're talking offline, you're saying one of the most expensive part of painting sometimes is the labor, right? So you might as well invest in good paint. Uh, what do you consider good quality paints? Well, uh, basically, uh, uh, you have to find a paint that that had number one low VOCs if uh, to protect the, the 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 people in your house. And additional to that, you should find uh, uh, you're gonna do it yourself. But if, if you're gonna pay to somebody, that's fine. But regarding what you're gonna do yourself, you're gonna pay somebody. You have to. Uh, have the best pain as possible. Why? Because it's, it's going to long last more years and it's going to be something that is going to lose better and it's going to be more beneficial for you. And you're going to cover the surface with less coats and, 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 and it's, at the end of the day, it's going to be cheaper. Yeah, the quality of the paint is super important. Uh, now, you guys t use Sherwin Williams, which happened, I, I just found out is the largest private painting company in the world, in the US, probably the world now, if it's the US. Um, what are the levels? What are some of the grades that you can look at even within Sharon Williams? Well, uh, Cherry Williams, they, they, it's a big company. They do a lot of studies on paint. And I like to work with them because uh, they have products for everything. Uh, I, I mean, uh, they have, it's another company, it's a modern company, they're not taking wrong, they, they, they have good products, but sometimes you, you see the, the, the prices service, uh, uh, the, the, they open seven days a, a week, some customer, they ask me to paint the weekends and I, I need to find paint the weekend, but uh, it's another company, it's like Benjamin Moore, uh, Claire, mm -hmm. Claire has a good product and, and um, bear, bear is a good mm -hmm. paint, but uh, uh, basically, uh, 
uh, every company has a good company. I mean, good pain. They have uh, high grade pain, medium grade pain, a, a, a low uh, grade pain. So, so try to get the, the, the at least medium grade pain. It's gonna do the job easier for you. You're gonna do that. You do it yourself. Great question from Jana. What is the most popular color you're seeing on an exterior of the house? I guess we're talking Houston. So in Houston, what's the, what's the really popular color that you're seeing? Do you know what? A, a, lot of, a, a lot of people is asking me now for grays and, and, and grays or white. And, but like, like I said, uh, you need to check with your homeowners association. Usually they, the homeowners association, they like to, to stay on neutral colors and they, they don't want to kind of uh, crazy color like a, a dark blue, a, a dark, dark green or something like that. Yes, but neutral colors, why grace is what is asking people now. Right, and I guess this is a great question, interior or exterior, but interior, what kind of paint is the easiest to clean? Well, uh, like, uh, uh, I mentioned in, uh, basically, in, before uh, I talking about years ago, when you you have uh, a glossy paint, you know, mm -hmm. gloss or semi gloss, it was easy for, to clean. The problem with applying semi gloss uh, paint inside the house is because it showing shows a lot of imperfections. So you don't want right. to do that in in, in in your house. So now we, with the new technology, if you choose, for example, I talking about uh, Shelby Williams Emerald. That is the top of the line for them. You apply Chevy Williams on flat, it's going to be easy to clean. You can clean, easy clean a, a stain with, with water and top. And, and that's a, one of the reasons that I recommend to use a high grade painting when you do your project. Yeah, and that's that's a question for for the the ages, right? Is what's eggshell? What's glossy? What are all these things? But you're saying anything glossy shows more imperfections, but it is shiny. It's reflective, right? Now, a paint. Now, one of the things that people misunderstand all the time. Game. A lot of people misunderstand. Yeah. A lot of people misunderstand that if you buy the paint color from Bear. And then you buy the same color from Sharon Williams. Their bases are different, so you can't. They may not necessarily match, right? Yeah. Well, if you start a project with one brand, uh, stick with the same brand. Don't don't mix don't mix them up. However, if you can you can uh, choose a brand from the beginning and stick with the same brand. Uh, regarding other chains, like I, like you said, if if uh, a lot of people like to use flat when for example, if you're gonna sell your house, and a lot of people use flat. Why? Because you wanna hide imperfections on walls. You don't want to show too many imperfection. And then the next uh, option is satin. More than that, I don't recommend that on walls inside. Yeah, really important. We actually had that problem uh, with the rental property where we had like this low VOC paint, but it was really like almost like recycled paint. And that business, that company's out of business. So at the end of the day, we we just ended up painting the whole wall. In retrospect, we should probably have repainted the whole room. But it is good if you have two, con you know, contact walls. As long as you draw a straight line, it's pretty easy to get away with it. Because walls, depending on which way the sun shines, they'll reflect differently, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's correct. And regarding our know, lines, lines, let me let me give you a little trick. And basically, let me. So basically, you just when you are, are painting a room and you're gonna make a, a straight line, apply tape. They have different grades of tape. This is the best tape for walls. This purple one. When you when you wanna apply tape wall, make sure that you're using the right tape because uh, you don't want to. Wait, use wait. A, purple tape. I only knew about the blue tape. You got no, green no, no. and let me show. Like, I want to know. Show us color tapes. <laughs> I have four color right here. Okay, let me show. Let us play pretty quick. This is a regular masking tape. This tape is for exterior. Don't use this in inside the house. Why? A lot of wood you have, you, you take, you have your walls, you don't want to apply this because everything is going to tear off. Uh -huh. The next grade is a blue one. This protects better. You can use this in wood, but you have to remove that the same day. Don't leave this tape for days because wow. when you remove it, you're going to be in trouble. 
The next one is this one, the green one. This is a, a new brand, uh, it's a frog tape. A lot of people call it the frog tape. I like this tape a lot because you can make a straight line. What you have to do, you have to apply this green tape on the wall and then uh, apply uh, uh, with, uh, I mean, with a wet rag, you, you, can, you can rub the surface and then apply caulking on the edge of the tape. And then you can do a straight line and then you remove the tape, it's gonna be perfect. And this tape, the purple one, it's a new tape, uh, you can find this in Home Depot. And I like to use this tape in, on wood because you can leave a tape, this tape for top 40 days there. And we can raise different prices, but you, you have to choose the right tape, okay? Man, wait, hold them up, hold them up again. This is great. Like I had no idea that there was so much tape. Great question from Jennifer Johnson. Is it possible to match paint if repairing drywall? How can we match paint? What's the best way? Well, uh, I recommend this to, to my guys. Remember, uh, the more expensive um, on the business, painting business is labor. So if, if we have a patch and the patch is in one wall, and I try to match the color, and the color is hard to match. It's very hard to match. So what my recommendation is, patch and paint the entire wall. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's going to be easier. You have a new, uh, you know, a new coat of paint on the wall and you're going to start trying to 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 deal with that. It's, it's hard to match a color. It's very hard. Right. Well, and the other thing too is uh, just because you have that paint, right, the paint that's on the wall, the sun is shining on it. It's deteriorating because it's protecting the can is not in the sun so even if you have the old paint if it's too old it may not match anyways right well uh, yes and the, like everything uh, the paint has a expiration date you have to keep that in mind so if you have a can of paint for two years trash it you, you you don't want to keep the paint if you need to repaint, you can you can say the color number because every paint has color number. You can take a picture of the label, save it, and then when you need a new paint, go to the store and ask him for that paint. However, the paint on walls, more outside, uh, change because you know it has some damage. Right. And when you want to repaint using the, the same code, it's gonna look different. And, and inside as well, I believe it or not, because you know, we have factor air conditioner, we have a weather factor, humidity. And, and when you try to match the same pain, it, it's not gonna, it's, it's hard. You can match it, but it, it is hard to match it. Machines to match color. What you have to do, you take your sample and they match the color. But it's, I recommend to paint the entire surface when you are matching. Right. Right. Well, I'm going to show one of the resources. We're going to talk a little bit about resources that are available. See, here's lead renovation repair and painting program. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you, you know, what you recommend from the EPA site. Well, basically, uh, EPA regules uh, uh, in, in my field on painting. When the houses they were painting before 1978, I think I have the number somewhere here. I think 1978. Uh, the companies they put lead. On, on the pain. Lead, mm -hmm. you know, is toxic, it's toxic. Yep. So when when people is handling uh, pain, it's handling or removing pain with lead, you have to follow some regulation because you can get the, the lead in your lungs and you can get cancer. Yeah, that's so important to, uh, to so have that. When you feel before 19, yes, yes, make sure, no, make, yeah, make, make sure that you have a company uh, that is uh, certified Mm -hmm. to remove lead on pain and and it's easy we have uh, i my company is certified so what we do when it's a house bill before 1978 we go to the house we we take a sample and if, if the test is coming positive we have to do a special procedure basically we have to protect the soil of contamination we have to to make sure that our customers they are not in the house when we are painting and my house they use a special PPE. My my guys, my, my painter, they use special PPE to handle the paint. Yeah, but yeah. but this is something important for all are there are painting. there like home test kits that we can use for lead lead testing for lead? Uh 
Yes, Home Depot has it. Uh, they have a it basically it's a it's a little prop. They have instruction right there. Basically, it's a prop that that you mix them up. A solution, write that on the wall, and it comes red. The paint has the has left. You're in trouble. Yes. <laughs> it, it's, it, yeah. Well, but not too much because you you can encapsulate the 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 paint. But yeah. basically, the the main goal is to prevent contamination and get people sick. So so right. it's not it's it's gonna cost a lot of money if you are painting the exterior of your house and you don't know you have somebody that doesn't know about about lead. And the EPA arrived to the house, the fine is $37,000. And, wow. and, but but the, the main purpose that they want, they, they are trying to do, the EPA, is to protect people, protect uh, mm -hmm. the soil. Like I said, uh, you, you don't want to contaminate uh, a soil with, with uh, lead uh, based pain, I mean, with lead. You don't want lead right. around the house. All right, Leo, my favorite part of the show, we're telling people to repaint, we're telling people to get back into it and like change their colors of the house. If they, if you were telling them three things they should do now to just start that process, what would those be those three things? Well, number one, you need to start working ar walking around your house to see uh, if you have uh, defects. I mean, you have a uh, damage and uh, sometimes we don't go to the backyard often and look around and you see you have damage in, in, in the wood, you have rotten wood on you, on you pain start uh, look, looking fade, you know, start looking fade and all the stuff, make you, you to do list and, and make a budget to see what you can start doing because before pain is probably that you need to do repair. So, so you can start working on that, make to, uh, a to-do list. And then after that, take action. Hire a carpenter, see if you have to, to do that, or you replace that, you can replace that with your help. And after that, uh, you can call a painter for, for, or, or yourself. You, the next step is look for colors, talk with your wife or your husband. Uh, Make a plan and, and act, act, you know, and do it and, and, and be happy. But like I said, if, if, if you enjoy painting, do it. If you don't like it, get somebody to do it. Right. I'm going to I'm going to throw in Christina in there. She's got a link on color psychology. So, that, you know, if you don't have a husband or a wife or if you got some questions, there's always, you know, take some risks. This is a great time to make it different, make it your own. You're gonna live this paint, you're gonna live this house. And uh, it's so great having you on the air, having you here today, Leo. Uh, you know, you are an expert painter, 360 painting uh, in Houston, Texas. And, you know, somebody like you guys, I mean, obviously you're taking all the precautions. You're wearing PPE, you're making the masks, you're making sure that like you're being safe. Uh, but I, I mean, just the input, I think, I think people are blown away by the tape the amount of tape that's available. <laughs> um, thank you so much for being with us today, Leo. I, I, I lost the side. Can you, can you repeat the question, please? I, I lost oh, it, 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 it's, it wasn't a question. I was saying it's so great having you on the show. You've oh, okay. Us, thank you, man. So, you've taught us so much about why paint's important, why it's here to protect, uh, and just really, like, really good information, especially on the tape. Just taping alone. Uh, I think that's going to be a little clip that we're going to put separate uh, because it's really, really informative. The um, Jennifer Stevens giving you a shout out. Thank you for all the information you've given us. Uh, Leo, thank you so much for being on the show. I would love to have you show us a property when you're going through. So one time, if you're in a property, we'll go live. I think people would love to see, you know, how do you apply? How do you use the sprayers if you're doing cabinets? Because all of that can be painted and uh, we'll let you go on, on the chat and answer some of the questions that were on here. Yeah, you know what, man? And I have uh, my website. Uh, I have a, we have a blog. Uh, or call have questions. You can go to our, our website, uh, tristypaint.com or uh -huh. tristypaint.com. And then you can find a, a blog there. You can find a bunch of information regarding all your projects. In the other side, in Facebook, I, I start placing content. And I'm going to start 
placing more content now. And in that way you can see what we do. And I'm gonna start sharing tips of painting uh, just in case if you want to use it yourself, uh, you can do it. If you have any question, call me anytime. I'm here to answer. And I really appreciate your time and having me in your blog, man. Thank you. Leo, thank you for being with us. That is Expert 23. If you want to get in touch with 360 Painting, Expert Leo Hernandez. Man, so good having you on the show. Would love to have you back. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you, man. I'm, my apologies for that. My internet connection, I need to fix them up. I think we made it just fine. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Guys, that was Leo for 360 Painting. Uh, next week, we're going to talk about opening up schools again and how to do it safely. We're going to talk about insurance. We're going to talk about health insurance. And really, you know, if you guys have questions, if you guys have topics that you think we should uh, address, share them in the comments, send us a text, text expert35, or send them to, to apply. We'd love to have other experts on the show. I'm touring around the US, I'm on an RV, I'm in Taos, New Mexico now. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna put Mo, Moses, who came out to fix my RV, I'm gonna put him on the air, because uh, he's gonna show you some tips. And I'm, I was surprised of all the little things I learned from somebody that's just been around the block and uh, really knows this thing. So again, thank you for joining us. I'm Gabriel with Expert 35. Guys, we'll see you soon.